over here at a Menu Faith Community Church to experience the mating rituals and social rituals here that the Well Knights have here in California. Now this is territory is very dangerous, so we're gonna have very much fun trying to dodge and trying to get a real live view of what's gonna happen here. So come on as we can experience the real Well Knight village. Hey, this is Donnie Delamuerta. Donnie is a seasoned pro at watching his human specimen work. And I'm Brian Balson. Now, with a combined experience of 10 years, we are able to give you the best description of what we're going to be observing here. Now, the well was created, some say, over two days ago. But I think it was much longer than that. Now, not to interfere with the Wellian special interactions that they have. You must have proper disguise not to disturb them or even let them know you're there. Because if they know you're there, you're dead, mate. So let's go. Now, the Wellians are very skittish. So we have to make sure that we do our best to stay down in and to avoid any unnecessary interventions. Now the well is very selective. It has a very small population. But it's very interesting when an outsider shield comes in. It brings a little drama to the group. And it's very interesting to watch. Here we have eight of the finest species here that the well has to offer, all possessing a different skill in either strength, brains, or attitude. Uh-oh, it looks like the Sheila has just entered their sights. And with a great bang, they all just surround her, eager to just try to get to know her and understand what she's all about. Oh, you can see her flirt. Now each of these gents are showing off its greatest quality. If you see, there are a few that are flexing their muscles, others that are flexing their smiles. Now, these species are unlike any other, where facial expressions are actually a good thing. It doesn't mean danger. Now, this species has the unique ability to change its hair color in order to attract the Sheila. Here we have this colorful species, and the one with blonde hair walks by. Oh, he liked that, Sheila. Oh, and look, another blonde. He really is liking these girls. Crack, he didn't even see the brunette. Exaggeration is a great way to show shortcomings in this group. Look at that blue, freaking CP the guy. Now sometimes the book's most effective way of attracting the lead is the element of teamwork. Trap in. Here we go. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, it took two of us to get him down. It's very hard. Luckily, he didn't put up much of a fight as we thought, so we got out of there alive. Okay, we now just back. Now we decided not to send him back, but take him to our secret facility to better understand him. Now we want to get him a mate, so we're going to try to catch us as Sheila to put with him. Crocky! Now 
first watched this scary moment again, he just comes out of nowhere and swings that huge paw right at me and I barely get out of the way. Now I gotta get out of there, I gotta run for safety. And the bloke is on my hat, bugger. Now we're going to try to catch another one, but this one do a catch and release day. Now because he's such a big one, we're going to use a special method to get him. Don't worry, we didn't hurt him. We merely just knocked him out for a bit. He'll be fine, hopefully. Now we tagged this big one, and we sent him back into the wild. We gave him the code name Ande. Hopefully, we'll be able to see him in a couple of years and see if he was able to bag his own Sheila. It'll be interesting to see what kind of meats he'll be making me. Ah, it was a great day out here in the well. We gotta see some clever beasts, some tough ones, some scary ones, and even some confused ones. We're going to say goodbye now, but next week we'll be looking at the dancing man. He's very rare to see him, he's very skinny, so we're going to have much fun trying to find this Sheila. G'day, mate. Dum, dum, dum.